Discharge right into the fuel and spread it everywhere. Aim it so it just brushes across the top. We didn't line it off. One more. I think that's a lot there. Nobody does it right every time. When I discharge, I can do the same thing you do. I'll try not. Okay, now remember the angle that you're at. Don't spray directly into it. Just push the top of it. All you want to do is sweep the flames off. Who's next? Mr. Lynn. Anybody? Come on, one of these girls. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Come on, wake up. Mr. Rock. Come on, 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 Mr. Rock. No problem. It's already done. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Fantastic. Now you notice how I told you that we're clear a little bit? Have you seen that? Yeah. It makes the fire look a lot bigger. Don't let it bother you. Who's next? Go ahead. Okay, now I'm going to warn everybody that this dry chemical extinguisher is just about out. As soon as it's empty, go ahead and use the carbon dioxide. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, good. 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 That was EBC dry chemical. This is the purple K I was telling you about, the one that's not good on class A fires. Use it the same way you use the other one. Bring it across, hit the push plunger, aim it at the fire. Remember I told you that it's going to operate. If it doesn't operate, leave the area. Don't even try using the extinguisher. the extinguisher changed tone. It begins to sound more hollow. The reason behind that is this extinguisher is now also empty. When these extinguishers empty out, that's how you can tell. If it goes from the tone that it has, it begins to sound more hollow. Don't even bother emptying the extinguisher. If you haven't got the fire out, leave the area. <coughs> Let's have somebody use this one. One. We're running out of tape. As soon as 
gasoline in this can, we'll do a trash can fire for you. Fire drill here, and it's going to be taken. 